At first glance, the ARP Module 1050 Mix Sequencer may seem like the most unusual and therefore unexpected addition to the ARP 2500's initial module lineup. That is, until you know more about the history of its creator, David Friend. Friend earned degrees in both engineering and music from Yale University. While there, he created some of the custom equipment used in the Yale Electronic Music Lab. One of the pieces Friend created at the direction of professor and composer Mel Powell was an audio stream sequencer. Either electronic signal generators or sounds pre-recorded on tape could be pre-patched through it. The stream sequencer then switched between these sounds faster and with far less effort than splicing tape, which Powell previously had to do by hand. This feature and more was built into the Module 1050. The 1050 can be thought of as a pair of four to one mixers with mute switches on each of the inputs. The user could turn on and off whatever combination of inputs they desired, including using a separate column of exclusive on switches that automatically muted all of the other channels. In addition to manual switches on the front panel, these individual inputs could be automatically muted and unmuted in order, following either an internal clock or external trigger pulses from another module. The 1050 could be run as two parallel mix sequences up to four steps in length, or one sequence up to eight steps long. The idea of switching between fragments of sound to create a new composite stream of audio is very popular among synthesis today. It's a technique known as granular synthesis. And there are numerous granular synthesis modules, softwares, apps, and plugins that do at their core essentially the same thing as the module 1050.